I've called everyone I can think of. I've tried being subtle, I've tried being blatant. No one knows anything about the DHB's plans for Shorten Street. Or if they do, they're not saying. So what's the one thing we know for sure? The elite surgical team is being bypassed. Exactly. So we need to be proactive, raise our media profile, get the public on side. That's our best insurance against getting the axe. Raise our profile how when we're not getting any high profile cases? Warnock, TK, what's up? Okay, I'll be right there. Surgical consult. Suspected necrotizing fasciitis. Flesh eating disease. Don't get excited, there's nothing in it for the elite team. You'll have to keep thinking. She still won't take a break. Not even for a few minutes to grab something to eat. I don't know what to do. Wait for the truth to hit her, I suppose, and pick up the pieces. Hunter, how are you feeling? I feel better. It's so terrible what happened, but it's so good to see you in one piece. I really need to see Ben. Is that OK? Of course. Is this a bit complicated? Mum's in there with him. Well, I need to talk to her too. It's just, um, just not handling it very well. Yeah, I didn't think she would. She loved the guy, he loved her. I'll come in with you. Yvonne, I'm so sorry. You mustn't blame yourself. I'm sure Ben doesn't. Come a bit closer. I have to tell you, Yvonne, that it was my fault. I started the fight. I made the guys angry. Ben was trying to stop it. He tried to save me. I know all that. Your father told me. But it's OK. Ben's going to be all right. He is? He'll wake up as soon as he's ready. Hey, I'm looking for Henry Mapusur, do you know? Yeah, he was here a minute ago. He's just popped away for a second. Damn. I can't wait around. I've left messages, but he hasn't called back. I can tell him you stop by if you want. That'll be good. I'm Robbo Bradford. Ah, Karen Mitchell. Can you tell him I've sorted my IRD problems? I'm ready to buy back in. He'll know what I'm talking about. You mean point taken? How do you know? Don't tell me you're thinking of buying my share. Well, if it's the one up for grabs, I'm just about to sign the deal. No way. I only let it go because I was desperate. I'm sweet now. I want it back. Well, sorry, mate. Quick in the dead. I just got in there first. Fine. Sign up, pay your money, then sell your share to me. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Make a quick profit. How much are you paying? 50 grand. I'll give you 60. 10 grand profit, just like that. No. I don't think so. I have to go. Damn, Henry. If you change your mind, selling my share in that horse was the stupidest thing I ever did. Hey, did you get a call from the police? My phone's off. Yvonne just heard they made an arrest. The guy who punched Ben. And the others, they were witnesses. They made a positive ID. Son, it's good news. They will be punished. But it's not good enough. It should never have happened. Mate, we've been through this. You didn't start the fight. I put him there. I was being all poor me with the HIV and, and he left the party to try and cheer me up. That's why he let me drive his car. That's why I was such a jerk, because that's what I am. You had every reason to be worried, but you didn't know how things were going to turn out. I heard you went and saw Ben. That mustn't have been easy. Yvonne doesn't believe he's gone. She thinks he's going to wake up. She just needs time to adjust. It's not uncommon. A lot of people find this diagnosis difficult to accept, mate. And when she does, when it sinks in that Ben is dead, who do you think she's going to blame? The men who killed him. Not you. 
Son, you are not to blame. Ron, you wanted to see me? Ben is getting better. His oxygen is 99% and his blood pressure is perfect. Um, that still doesn't mean his brain is functioning. I know what you think, but I truly believe he is in a coma. If he were, we wouldn't have to keep him on life support. Well, maybe he doesn't need it anymore. I want you to test him again. Well, there's no point. The first tests were absolutely conclusive. Well, I don't accept that. I'm sorry, but I want another opinion. Another specialist. I'm happy to pay. Come on, listen to me. I could call in another doctor right now. He could run the tests again, but that would just get your hopes up. And the pain and the disappointment would be that much worse when the diagnosis is the same. I don't want to put you through that. I want another opinion. I won't rest until I get one. So, how'd that go? We're in. We as in... No, well, don't worry, your name never even came up. As far as Henry's concerned, I am the one and only lucky buyer. Congrats, bro. Yeah, back at you, big man. <laughs> Go on, there's more. We've already had a buyout offer on our share. No way. Hmm? Henry's ex-partner wants back in the office 60 grand for him. Well, you turned it down, of course. Didn't even take a breath. Oh, what a sweet, sweet deal. <laughs> <laughs> Calls for a celebration, he thinks. Oh, yeah. Mm. Of course I've heard of Flab Squad. I watch TV, I graze magazines at the checkout aisle. It's everywhere. Then you'll know that we're planning a special episode, catching up with last year's winner, Gemma Jensen. Uh, the woman you tell me is a patient in our emergency department. Mm-hmm. Suffering from necrotizing fasciitis. Oh, she's that patient. I was uh, with Dr Warner when he got the call to do a surgical consult. Chris Warner? Yeah, quite the surgeon. Checkered history of late. <laughs> Bad call on the hand transplant. You uh, have done your homework. I had Jim Olivo Salford on during the consult. By the time I got to my car, I had Dr Warner's history in the palm of my hand. So what do you want from me? You're the hospital's media liaison person. Yes. Then I need you to smooth the way. I want to film Gemma's operation. What? She's the underdog made good. People love her and they'll love Chris Warner if he saves her life and makes her lovelier in the process. Gemma lost a ton of weight during the show, but now she's got this hideous flap of excess skin around her belly. This weird disease is eating away at it. Some might think it was doing Gemma a favour. You are joking. It's a ratings goal, darling. If Chris cures the disease and nips her down to a size 10 at the same time, then he'll be Gemma's hero, which in turn makes him the nation's hero. Can't be bad PR for a surgeon who, and I quote, put his ego before a patient in the hand transplant case with devastating results. Are we on the same page? <laughs> <laughs>